hide and seek has received the map update very recently and i figured i'd make a short video discussing it a couple things to mention before we begin these maps on screen either have not been changed at all or have no changes mentioned as of this recording that may be released within the coming days basically saying we don't have any information on these maps yet but we will eventually maybe probably all right let's get let's move on First up, the one I bet most of, if not all of the secret mains out there are going to go absolutely bonkers over, is that Pripyat has finally been patched. That's right, nearly every known out of bounds bug in Pripyat has been patched, squashed, cremated, what have you. Now, there is still one spot that hasn't been caught by the developers yet, but they should soon clean that too. These next few changes are for Sunset Terrace, the biggest map in hide and seek. That is in Harvest. First off, the spawn position for the Seekers have been moved from the upper bridge to the left post on the opposite side on the same floor. And secondly, there is now a barrier on this side of this specific bridge. Now, let me just sidetrack you pretty fast. With the time I got banned because of this bridge. Yeah, I've been banned recently. Let me just explain what happened in detail. So basically, someone was in the water that this bridge crosses over, which is out of the map. I noticed them floating in a waterfall, which is out of the map, and also used a certain technique that should be banned, but is it to go down in the water and eliminate this cheater. I reported them while also admitting to what I did, and the next morning woke up to an hour long ban. Now we have Plasma. Here, no out of bounds glitches were fixed this time. You know, because it's not Prip yet. Instead, a spot in this map was made easier to get to. Which spot, you may ask? You know that spot you had to Neo jump to to get to? Or by Neo jump, I mean just jump around a block to get to. It was a really difficult jump for most players that would cause anyone there to just hit you off and make you attempt to jump again. The spot is screen. Yeah, yeah, that spot, that spot. But basically, that block you used to have to jump around has been deleted and now you just walk over the spot, basically making it way easier for anyone to get to and making it a really risky spot now. This spot was already risky enough for the slight chance that someone actually makes it to you, but that was easier said than done. Now though, it's a risk to hide there, period. Because of this one block being removed, any seeker regardless of skill level could easily walk up to you and force you to leave that spot. And if you're not a very good runner, well, then... <laughs> Lastly, we have Chinatown. This map didn't get a bug fix or a spot update, none of that, no. What it did get, just like Sunset Terrace, the Seeker spawn point was moved. Instead of being right by the car facing the leaves right by it, you would now be placed simply by the garbage cans by one of the houses facing this motorcycle. Interestingly, I also noticed that as I was disturbing each map for changes, I was put inside a building with loading in with a replay of the game in this map. I've actually come to figure out that this is actually a house that is out of bounds. Why they would put it here is honestly unknown to me. As I am editing this video, Splodger himself mentioned that Kingston will also be getting a patch soon. It's most likely that this spot on screen will get the boot, as it requires more than one player to get to using the same method that got Pripyat patched. And also that one spot in Sunset Terrace, but mostly Pripyat. And that's it. This was everything that I know of that got changed in this recent map update, but I'd imagine more changes will roll out soon. I will try to let you guys know when I have more information. On another note, I hope you guys enjoy this different kind of video. I, I normally don't do stuff like this covering changes to games, but I thought you guys should know. If you want to be updated on this, then be sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, all that jazz. With that, I thank you for listening to my rambling, and I'll see you later.